Van Andel Institute researchers are making breakthroughs on slowing down Parkinson's disease. News 8's Emily Leonard spoke with an associate professor at the Institute about their research. Researchers at Van Andel Institute continue to make strides in slowing down the progression of Parkinson's disease. Their latest discovery identifies a master regulator that when shut down can prevent damage to the brain. Joining me now to talk more about this is Dr. Vivian Labrie, an associate professor at Van Andel Institute. Doctor, what does this mean for people with Parkinson's disease? Well, Parkinson's disease is an illness that involves the death of neurons, and we've found a brand new target that might impede that death of neurons and protect those neurons from dying in Parkinson's disease. What would be the next step in the research at this point? So the next steps is that we want to follow up our analysis. We identified this master regulator that could cause a lot of molecular changes in brain cells of Parkinson's patients. And now we want to explore that um, molecular target a little bit more and do some testing which put, with potential therapies that could ameliorate the, the key features of the disease and also the related symptoms. So Parkinson's disease um, damages the brain cells. Tell us more about how that works and how this could slow that down. In Parkinson's disease, you have neurodegeneration, and specifically in certain areas of the brain. One area especially is the substantia nigra, and that controls the movement. And so in Parkinson's disease, you have a lot of movement uh, issues. You also have other symptoms in Parkinson's disease, which are related to impairments in the function of brain cells in other parts of the brain. In our study, we found uh, changes at the molecular level that affect the way that genes and ultimately cells work. And we found that a master regulator of these changes was a protein called TET2. And what TET2 does is it uh, impacts the survival of neurons and also affects inflammation in the brain. And we know inflammation is a very important part of the biology of Parkinson's disease. And so what this target can do and why we're so excited about it is that it can both protect neurons from dying and lower levels of inflammation in the brain of patients. And the research continues. Dr. Vivian Labrie with the Van Andel Institute, thank you for talking to us about this discovery. Thanks for having me.